Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with Mathematics Development and Support at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video is going to deal with how to produce a time series chart in Excel. Okay, so I've got two uh, sets of data, sorry, I've got a single set of data here which is the Abbey PLC closing prices. Uh, they're listed down uh, column D here in the Excel spreadsheet and associated with each individual closing price is the date uh, from which the closing price was recorded. Uh, and now at this stage the dates are recorded as 00, zero uh, colon 00, zero uh, dot zero. I'm just going to highlight that whole data set here uh, and I'm actually going to form Format this particular uh, series uh, into a proper date. I'm going to right click and uh, I'm going to go to format cells and I'm going to go to date date here, select date, and I'm actually going to choose the first uh, first option which is uh, star 14 forward slash 03 forward slash 02012 which is the date the 14th of March 2012 or sorry that's the format that we're going to format these particular dates in and I'm going to hit OK and what we can see here is that each date is converted into a day, a month and a year. Okay, so to produce a time series chart, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight uh, the first two cells. Uh, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the use the cursor. I'm going to press down with the left key on the first cell, and I'm going to drag it across to the second cell. Okay, uh, I want to highlight the whole data series. That's all the values in this in, in both in column C and column D. Uh, to do that, the shortcut key on the keyboard is I'm going to hold down Control. I'm going to press the shift button so I'm simultaneously holding down control and shift and then I'm going to press the down arrow key and what happens is uh, both of those data series in column C and column D now become highlighted. Okay. So now that we've activated the data series uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert uh, the appropriate chart into this area here on the Excel sheet. I'm going to choose insert from my options here at the top of the page. I'm going to press insert. Uh, and once I press insert, the insert ribbon appears. That gives you many different options uh, to do many different things uh, within the Excel sheet. I'm going to go to this charts area here and I'm going to select uh, this particular insert scatter or bubble chart option. Uh, I'm going to press that button once uh, and then what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose the first chart uh, which is a scatter chart uh, and I'm going to press that button which then produces a scatter chart for me here. Okay. The first thing that we probably need to do is we probably need to add a we probably need to add labels to our horizontal axis and we need to add labels to our vertical axis for this chart. To do that I'm going to press the plus button on the right hand side of the chart here and I'm going to ask for axis titles and I'm going to click axis titles and you can see that what happens is our axis titles are then inserted. Uh, I'm going to format these. I'm going to click on, on click on this axis, the, the horizontal axis title. I'm going to press on it again, and you can see that the cursor now is flashing. I'm going to go to the end of this particular uh, this particular label. Uh, I'm going to delete what's in there, and I'm going to put in here an appropriate label, which is closing uh, days since 20 or 2001. Okay. And then what I'm going to do here is on the vertical axis, I'm going to click the vertical label. I'm going to press it again and you can see once again the cursor is flashing. Uh, I'm going to move to the end. If that moves to the end, it should. Okay, I'm going to move to the end here and I'm going to delete those values in here. I'm going to delete and I'm going to put in here closing stock price. Okay. And I'm going to click on the chart title, uh, click on it once, it activates it, and click on it again, we see the flashing cursor, and once again I'm going to go to the end, and this time I'm going to put in here an appropriate title for this chart, chart which is a time series uh, for, I suppose, uh, Abbey PLC closing, closing stock price. Okay, so the chart is now labelled. 
uh, and you can see the time series here each one of these dots along here represents a particular closing price on a particular day one thing that we might want to do is because there's so many labels along this horizontal axis here these represent the dates that are listed down the column C under the date heading I'm going to click on this once and then I'm going to click on it again or double click on it and I have a number of options here in relation to what I can actually do with this particular with these particular labels uh, these are text options this is actually what's highlighted at the moment uh, I'm going to press size and properties uh, which allows me other options with, with respect to the size and the properties of these particular labels I'm going to choose custom angle and I'm just going to press this up uh, once or twice and you can see as I press this custom angle the angle of the stock prices uh, change sorry the angle of the dates change but I want the angles the other way so I'm going to press down uh, so as I press down maybe I'll go to 50 degrees or minus 50 degrees uh, to give us an appropriate angle so when I go down to minus 50 degrees we can probably see what happens here is that it becomes a little bit more uh, I suppose understandable here we can understand it a little bit better okay and I'm gonna close that off here now which now gives me my time series chart uh, for the Abbey PLC closing stock prices okay uh, with respect to this chart here we probably need to copy this into a word document as an image and not as an Excel object uh, I suppose as an Excel object as we as we reduce the size the scaling doesn't apply uh, appropriately but as an image if we just click on this chart here if I right click on it and if I say copy okay I can copy that particular image here if I click on the cell here and if I right click and if I say paste special uh, I should be able to paste this in as a PNG I'm going to hit OK on that which now gives me a PNG image uh, which allows us now to reduce the image with appropriate scalings okay so that completes this particular short video on how to produce a time series chart uh, and I hope that was informative okay thank you